Today we're going to look at enabling and customizing the arrow queue with Rad Drag Drop Manager. Rad Drag Drop Manager is part of the Telerik Rad Controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. In this video we are going to enable the arrow queue for your users to easily distinguish between what item is dropped where and customize the color of it. Let's go ahead and jump into Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we're working with the same project that we worked with in the first part of the series. And just as a quick reminder, the drag and drop framework is actually found in Telerik.Windows.Controls and if we expand this a little bit, you'll see that we added two list boxes here an all applications list box and then we added a second list box called my applications and if we go ahead and we run this application then you'll see that the user has the ability to drag and drop items between this so we take our first item here and we drag it over to our second list box and we can drag another one here as well the thing that is missing here is there's no sort of indication where the item is being dragged to. So in this video I thought it would be interesting to take a look at adding an arrow so when the user drags an item an arrow displays. And then of course we're going to take a quick look at customizing the color of that arrow. So let's go ahead and jump back into Visual Studio 2010 and take a look at this. So the first thing that I'm going to do to enable this functionality is I'm actually going to go into the app.xaml.cs and right before the initialize component I'm going to type in rad drag and drop manager and you'll notice here that we're going to go ahead and have to fix our using statements here. So that just added telerik.windows.controls.dragdrop so we have our red drag drop manager and I'm going to set the execution mode to a drag drop execution mode dot legacy. Now that I've set this mode to legacy we can actually see the arrows. So I'm going to now go back to my main page dot XAML and I'm going to scroll down just a bit here e.options.dragQ and I'm going to add in e.options.arrowQ equals rad drag and drop manager dot generate arrow queue. So I've only added about two lines of code. So now that I've done that, I can simply go back to my application, go debug. I can go start without debugging and now when I select an item here you see that we now have an arrow indicator. So I can drag that back and forth if I would like. So now let's talk about changing the actual color of the arrow. So right now it's actually set to a yellow. Let's just change that to a red. I can come back underneath my generate arrow queue and I'm going to simply type in here e.options.arrowq.background equals a new solid color brush and we're going to use colors.red here. So now that that's in place we can go ahead and we can run our application again and we can select an item and you can see that now the arrow has been changed to the red color. Again, I hope this helped, and please tune in to tv.teleric.com for more videos, and check out blogs.teleric.com for the latest news and announcements.